What is up guys, this is iUpdateOS and today I am going to be telling you guys about the new features found in Apple's newest iOS 7 Beta 5 that was released unexpectedly today. Now comparing this with other betas, I would say it has a lot less features than all the other betas, but that's because Apple is getting ready for the final release of iOS 7 in the fall, so now they're just smoothing out the UI, fixing some bugs, and maybe adding some new features here and there. If we go ahead and take a look at the settings app found in iOS 7 Beta 5, we're going to notice some things immediately. First thing we will notice is that the icons on the left side are completely changed, they're not the same old looking blue ones that we saw in the past betas. Now personally I do like the new icons a lot more than the other ones because they do bring a lot more life and color to iOS than the previous versions. Also new in settings, if we do navigate to the control center section, click on that, we will see we've got a new toggle there. Now we can disable control center and apps. For example, if I would launch an app like settings and try to swipe up from the bottom to access control center, it will not work. It will only work on the lock screen and the home screen. And as we do inspect in every iOS 7 beta that is released, there are going to be some performance improvements. Just launching apps, switching to multitasking, just navigating your device is going to feel a lot more smooth than in the previous betas that were released. There also have been some UI and transparency changes system-wide, which are kind of hard to see, but I can tell that sometimes color just comes through a lot easier than it did before. In iOS 7 Beta 5, when you do receive a banner notification, you're going to see you've got a new option there. You can see you've got a little arrow to drag down versus having to click on the notification and launch the app that the notification is from. I like this feature a lot better because now you won't be forced to go to the app that the notification is from, you can just head in this general direction of Notification Center. Another new feature in Notification Center, if we go to the Today view, scroll all the way down to the bottom, you can see that there is credit given to Yahoo for their weather and stock information. Now another system wide change found in iOS 7 Beta 5 was the redesigned Twitter icon. Now I assume they did make it a lot more flatter in order to fit the new look of iOS 7, and I have to say I am a fan of it, it does fit in really well with the original iOS 7 icons. Now unfortunately I can't show you guys these next two changes, but if you look at the end call buttons on an iPhone running iOS 7 Beta 5, you can see they do look different than before. They are rounded and they just blend into iOS a lot better. This next feature is really really neat. As you can see in the picture, if you are on an Apple boot screen, you can see it matches the color of your device. For example, this person does have a white iPhone, so they will see a white boot screen with a black Apple logo. If they had a black iPhone, it will show the black background with a white Apple logo. Now the final change we have discovered so far is that if you hold down the power button, you get new slide to power off and cancel banners. Those were most of the changes discovered in iOS 7 Beta 5 so far. If you have enjoyed this video, I would appreciate if you did take the time to click that like button. And if you are interested in more iOS 7 content, make sure you do hit that subscribe button to be notified when I do upload more videos. Thanks a lot for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.